Hello folks, this is Jamil Sweat at Gunstock Reviews and today we're going to install a sight set on a SIG P320. But usually you've seen people install sights by pounding them in with a hammer on a punch. There's nothing wrong with that, but today we're going to use the MGW, which is Maryland Gunworks uh, Sight Pro Sight Pusher. And we're going to use, uh, we're going to install True Glow TFX sights onto my SIG P320. Um, before I came on camera, I took the old sights off of the P320. Uh, this is a, happens to be a compact FDE uh, slide. And I'm gonna be using this as a, my EDC gun for a while. It's winter time, so you can see it's very cloudy and it's not cold because we live in Arizona. So um, I am going to set this thing up on the uh, jig and show you how it's done. And we'll install the front, and we're gonna start with the front sight first. That's what I was told by the folks at uh, True Glow. Start with the front sight and then go with the rear sight. One important note is um, this sight, uh, the Pro Pusher um, uses this foot on it that uh, fits a specific uh, pistol individually. So I have one here. This is the one for the SIG P320. This one here is for the SIG uh, 226 and um, 229 and so on. And this one is for a Glock. But you can actually get one for 1911, MMP, whatever site you want to put in. There's a shoe for it. Um, this one you can get uh, directly from True Glow or you can get it from Brownells or one of those other distributors. I got mine, I got my accessories from Brownells always. So um, I'm gonna show you how it's done. The first thing you do is you line up the front sight on the shoe. The shoe is uh, released from the bottom, so it's loose, it's not gonna be too tight. Line up your shoe, your slide on the shoe and push the sight, the slide in and then put the upper, actually you put the slide in. I'm gonna show you, there's a little notch here and you put your slide in with the front of the slide going into that notch. Okay, and you leave it loose and then you put the upper with the, um, this is what pushes the side, this little U-shape dealy here. So I am gonna line that up with the front sight, make sure that it's properly aligned. And by using this uh, wrench, you push the upper part up and down so it doesn't hit your um, your slide. You don't want the, the pusher part to be hitting your slide. So first thing you do, um, you line it up. Once you line it up, you tightened your slide on the bottom. Got these two pieces of Delrin, you put one on one side one and the other, and then you tighten both sides. It doesn't have to be too tight, just tight enough for the slide to be fixed. You get your front side out of the packaging and rear side. Um, it comes, of course, with your nice little TFX sticker. Toss it away. And then SIG sides like XDM Springfields and XDs come from the left to the right. So basically, you're going to put your sight here on the dovetail, okay? One thing I wanna stress is like, I usually add a little bit of oil on the dovetail so it's easier for it to go in. So I'm using Gunfighter Gun Oil, it's a really good oil. Not much, just enough oil to ease the dovetail onto the system. Then you put your, the top in, okay? And make sure that it is secure with the two bolts, the two knobs included. Okay. And you're going to push the front side in into place. So it doesn't take much pressure, but um, it's much better than beating your side into submission.
you check to make sure your sight is in the middle. It has to go a little farther. I think we got it. Now you take your top off. Make sure your washers are properly removed. And there's going to be a little bit of extra oil in here, so don't worry much about it. You can clean it later. So now what you're going to do is loosen both sides and loosen the bottom and push the side in and we're gonna we, we had the top on this way we're gonna reverse it and put it the other way around and we're gonna line up your rear sight notch with the tool see so we're gonna be pushing the sight in from the left to the right we're gonna put our delrin back up again and tighten the slide in place. The delrin is here so that when you tighten it, you don't mar the finish of your slide. So, good little tool to have. The rear side has a set screw. Make sure your set screw is backed out all the way out. You don't have to remove it, just make sure it's not protruding out of the bottom. And now we're going to put our rear side on the dovetail, like we did before. Okay, it doesn't go all the way in, you're going to get a little resistance, a little bit of gunfighter gun oil, again, I really like this gun oil. And I'm going to put the top on, if I was going to complain about this setup is that you have to be very careful because having that big knob in the bottom, it makes it a little unstable on your bench, so make sure it doesn't fall off or anything like that. So make it tight on both sides, nice and tight. And we're going to push our rear sight in. See, slowly. It gets a little resistance, but not too much. And we're going to make sure that our rear sight is properly aligned. I think I have it. I'm doing this by eye, so I'm not measuring or anything like that. We could measure it, but I think it's by eye is good enough. We'll take the tool to the range when we go sighted in to make sure that I don't have to go left or right or anything like that. Remove the top. Make sure you take care of your washers, so you don't lose them. Loosen the Delrin strips and loosen the bottom of the slide. Don't forget, last step is to tighten your set screw. It comes with your Allen wrench here. You don't have to put the fear of God in your pistol, just hand tighten like that. I usually tighten until, you see, that's it. That's all you have to tighten. So you're set to go. I think we're done here. Now we have to put your barrel back up again and, and the guide rod system on it. And back on the frame. By the way, this pistol has already gone to SIG for the voluntary upgrade. It has the cutaway here and it has all the extra goodies on it. So we're ready, ready to go. Let's go to a range and try our SIG P320 with the True Glow TFX sights and see how we like it. I actually I like the TFX sights very much. So um, I'm really looking forward, you know, carrying this pistol uh, from now on for a little bit. I mean, um, it's winter time, so I can carry a heavier pistol with, you know, clothing that we wear in the winter time here in Arizona. 
which is basically the same clothing we wear in the summer, but we throw a jacket on. So st stick around, uh, stay tuned to Gunstock Review so we can uh, give you more information and let's go test this pistol, let's go to the range.